Now we will drive here relation between standard Cauchy distribution and student T distribution. Or you can also say now we are driving PDF of our standard Cauchy distribution from the PDF of the student T distribution. So we know that PDF of student T distribution is this. It is in terms of the gamma function. In terms of beta function, it is equals to this one. Now just by writing at the place of n1 we will get pdf of our standard Cauchy distribution so just this is relation between standard Cauchy distribution and student t distribution here at the place of n we write 1 as like this whole term here we get 2 divided by 2 here we get under root pi here we get gamma 1 by 2 here we get x square plus 1 raised to power 2 by 2 here we get raised to power 1 and we know that gamma 1 by 2 is equal to under root pi. That means here at the place of t gamma 1 by 2 we can write under root pi as like this one. Here we know that gamma of the 1 is equal to 1. So that's why we write here only 1. Under root pi multiplied by under root pi is equal to pi. So this is the PDF of our standard Cauchy distribution which we have derived from the PDF of the student's t distribution by just placing at the place of n is equals to 1. That means when degrees of freedom of the student's t distribution is equals to 1 then it will approach to the standard Cauchy distribution.